The evolutionary model is an example of software development that focuses on the use of prototypes. The software is developed in repeated cycles or versions that gradually evolve into the final product. User feedback is crucial, as each version is shown to the client or end user for their input, which guides future development. New features are added based on user feedback, changing needs, or lessons learned during the development of previous prototypes. Advantages of this model include that there is continuous involvement of users, which ensures the final product is useful to them and highly relevant to their needs. Working software is always available, as each version can be tested and used in real scenarios. Small, frequent improvements reduce the risk of failure and help avoid major issues later in development. And it encourages innovation, as developers can experiment and improve the system gradually. However, when using the evolutionary model, it is harder to plan and estimate a final cost and finish time due to the reliance on user satisfaction and having no predefined endpoint. It requires frequent user feedback, which can be time consuming to obtain, and indecisive clients may drag a project on indefinitely. And if it's not well managed, evolving systems can become messy or inconsistent if version creation is ineffective. The evolutionary model is suitable for experimental systems or new technologies where features may evolve as understanding improves. It's good for startup apps where features are based on market feedback, and for research and development projects or AI tools and machine learning systems that evolve over time with new data. Also, it's good for projects with a long lifespan where regular updates will be required. This model is suitable when end users need to test each version and give feedback, as feedback is a key driver of improvement. It's also good where requirements are unclear or expected to change, as it thrives on evolving ideas and changing goals. However, the evolutionary model is not suitable when a final product is needed quickly, as early versions may lack refinement, and it's much better for a gradual rollout. It's not also good when a stable system is being developed as more rigid systems like the waterfall model is better in this case. And finally, if you've got a tight budget or a strict timeline, then reliance on user approval means that planning is more difficult.